Hey, I am doing a mukbang, mini mukbang. I am in Atlanta, Georgia, and I came here to visit. I look rough because I ain't got dressed yet today. Kind of relaxed today because I've been busy for the last few days, but I'm in Atlanta visiting my best friend. And everyone had to work and stuff today and go to school today, so I'm home alone here. Excuse me, so I went out to get me something to eat and I wanted seafood and I um, met uh, Matika Sutton and um, Stacy Brown um, on YouTube. They do their mukbangs. Well, uh, and Martika told me about a restaurant out here called New Orleans Bay. Um, where you can get your already prepared seafood boils or whatever. So I'm here alone, so I'm chilling, watching TV, so I went and got me something to eat. So I wanted to just share it with you guys a little bit and show you what, you, what I got. Um, I've tasted some of the salt, the, the sauce or the seasoning that's on some of the stuff, and it's kind of spicy. I've already tasted I got a fried lobster tail, so that was what I had to taste that immediately. So let's turn this around. So I got these blue crabs. They're garlic blue crabs. I got fried lobster tail. Took the lobster meat out. Just a piece that I don't taste already. So good. It came with fries. I got snow crab. It comes with potatoes and corn. And I got some crawfish. I haven't had crawfish in a long time. I used to go to the crawfish festival in California and they stopped doing it. So I haven't had crawfish, real crawfish in a long time. So I got me some crawfish. So I'm just going to snack on this stuff. And when my best friend and them get here, I'm sure they're going to eat some of it too. And I got my no-no drink. This is called my no-no drink. And my, my yes, yes drink. A little orange juice. Oh, and a little bit of butter. This doesn't have any garlic or anything in it, it's just butter. So yeah. The um let me cut this see if I can cut this down. The um whatever they did the seasoning in with the um the lobster is spicy because out of everything, oh excuse me. Out of everything, I, I mean, this is the only thing I've tasted, and I have burning, burning in my mouth. Mmm, it's good. It's good. But what it really, it tastes like, mm. like a large size fried prawn. Again, this came from New Orleans Bay on, Ter on Terra Boulevard. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I need to put this in a glass. I do not like drinking out of... Hold on. Out of bottles. It's not appropriate.
This is a potato, a red potato. I think that's just Obey. I think that's just Obey. Woo, kick, kick, kick. I got a kick corn. Put some butter on it. Ooh, kick. Ooh, kick. That's not just obey. Who's that? That's not just obey. Kick. Mm. I don't know what that is. That ain't obey. That ain't just obey. Mm -mm. Kick. It's good though. It's amazing. It's delicious. Corn is good. Mm. Messages received from Dora. Oh, that's my best friend. My phone way over there. Just see why I can plug it closer. Woo! Whatever's on that um on them, the snow crab with the potatoes and the corn is spicy. Oh. I'm trying to get my phone closer. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all, anybody, I had to give me a glass for my soap. That is spicy. My glass, because I don't like drinking out of a... Uh, I don't like drinking out of bottles. In container. <clears throat> so, and I prefer to drink this. Oh, I got a straw right there. Sure do. I rather drink out of a glass or a cup. Or, I prefer glass. My grandmother um, on my mom's side used to tell us, or used to kind of had set a rule that girls. Excuse me. I'm not supposed to drink out of containers, drink out of plastic. And if that's the situation, if you are drinking out of um, 
a container, you should drink out of it with a straw. And I think her, her, her purpose of that or her thoughts behind that was because it's more ladylike. It's just appropriate. So that's what I prefer to do. That's why I just felt uncomfortable when I drank my soda out of my, my bottle because it just don't feel right. I don't, I don't drink out of containers. Even bottled water. And that's, that's the challenge of it all because, I, you know, you're not going to always pour bottled water in a glass. Especially on the go. You're going to drink your bottle of water out of your bottle. But that's the only thing that I will drink out of a bottle, basically. Because I feel like I not have to, but it's just more simple. Hold on. I got stuff to drink on deck. I didn't know that. Got my napkins right here. Come on right here. So what I'm excited about trying is one of these guys. Now I don't know if this is Louisiana style. How they do it where the, um, the flavoring is all inside. So let's see. This the way you eat these is you twist off the body. Pulse this up the head, but this is not juicy. I think my juice went in my bag. Pinch off this little piece. I don't eat that. Take off the little tail. And then I kind of go along the side, either side of the crawfish like that. Try to pop that open, pop the sides. New messages received from Nora. <laughs> what about this, friend? So I just, when I'm popping the sides, it just pops the meat out like that. And you just wiggle it out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Boom. It's not a lot of meat. I know a lot of people eat, just eat this, but I take this off. And I eat that. I don't eat this piece because it's not, to me, it's not, no. You don't eat this piece. Nobody eats this piece, trust me. Mm-hmm. 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 Got that good flavor. Mm-hmm. But it's not juicy. <clears throat> Woo! Me and my my best friend and her husband and my son's father, we used to go on couples trips to the Cry at Festival. So they're going to be excited to get here, and we got crawdads here. Crawdads, crawfish. I think in California we call it crawdad, but everywhere else they call it crawfish. Boom. Good little spice. Oh, that piece, the, the, the part that I don't like to eat came out. It's just a little bit more in here, so I'm going to take that out. It's just like peeling that back piece out. Where the main vein is. No, so this is start running. Okay, clearing up sinuses. We got that flavor. We got that flavor. Now, these little guys, the way they have this sign set up for this particular crab, it said garlic crab. I think it said three piece. Six piece, nine piece. And then above, on one side it said garlic crab, on the other side it said snow crab. So I thought it was garlic snow crab. So I said, let me get some of the nine piece of the garlic snow crab. 
Well, the two columns were two different things. So these little ones was the garlic crabs. And I believe they're blue crab. So they're really little. I'm not going through fighting over this for whatever meat that's in that. I promise you. I'm just going to mess with this knuckle. These got to go. I'm not, oh, it's a little meat on the end. I don't mess with that. Oh, that's sweet. Ooh, those are sweet. Sweet, sweet. Ooh. That's sweet. Blue crab are sweet. This meat is super sweet. It's good. I didn't expect that. Yeah, my lips are burning. That good old burn. This is supposed to be garlic crab and it's not garlicky either. It's sweet and it's spicy at the same time. This definitely ain't garlic crab. Well, it's definitely not garlic crab. She got that part of my order wrong. Cause this ain't garlic crack. Now these, although they're good, <clears throat> great little flavor, little sweet flavor. You have to have patience to eat that. Great flavor though. Only downside is little, so it's like you gotta have patience to pick through it. You can't eat this if you're hungry. You piss you off. It will piss you off if you hungry. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, this right here, they're great in flavor. I just don't own the patience right now. I'm usually a very patient person. I am a very patient person, in my opinion. But I'm not supposed to pick at that like that. with my friends here. I'm 
break it in half. You know what? This is the garlic snow crab. I don't know what the hell that is right there that she was doing. Because it's got a garlic seasoning on it, on the shell. See all that? Look. Big old chunk of garlic seasoning just came up off of there. Drop that in the butter. Mix it in. This is usually the hard piece to pull out at one, one big piece. I'm a professional crab eater. It's a lot of seasoning on here. Make you want to eat, suck on the shell. Let's see if I can get this one out. Let's see that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Sauce on that shell. I'm a um. Ooh yeah. Look. It's a shame to waste this flavor. So I'm gonna put it in my butter. Look. Mm -hmm. Look. Look. I'm just gonna mix that in my butter. Left, right. Let's see if I can get this one out. This one I go probably ain't gonna come out this way. All right. You pop it. Pop it. Both sides. Oh. Ooh, spicy. What's this all? I'm supposed to suck the head, but these aren't juicy. And then I got, I don't got that. Well, a lot of the juice fell out in the bag. That's how I do it. I take, uh uh, no, it's starting to run. I take the tail off. You pinch it off, rip it off however you want. And I take this back end off. Your meat, and you see that inside part. Usually, when you peel, it's a piece that you peel off that peels off all of that. That's why I said I don't eat that piece earlier, but you peel off all of that to cleanse it. I'm putting in some butter. Mm hmm. Good flavor, great flavor. And you just got seasoning all on it. Look. So again, twist it. Take the body off. Again, you're supposed to suck the head. Ain't no juice in his head. Take the tail off. This is a little tail. I think my god baby will be home soon. He can come eat with me. <coughs> ooh, 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 shit. I just had some... Ooh, I just pulled the tail, pulled it out. Ooh, shit. <clears throat> and this is the part I was saying. I take all of this off. 
And when you pull this little piece back that's on here, it pulls out that vein and everything. It all comes out in one fair swoop. But I've seen people eat eat it all. I'm not eating it all like that. I don't get down. I don't get down. <clears throat> Again, this came from from um. <clears throat> excuse me, my camera's so close. Can you put my hand right over? Dipping it in butter. This came from a restaurant called. New Orleans Bay on Terra Boulevard and I believe I'm in jo Jonesboro Georgia Jonesboro, Jonesboro Georgia damn I should have bought this something here close Jonesboro, Jonesboro, Georgia. <sighs> Shit, I'm ready to, um, I'm starting to get full. I'm going to save one of these pieces of this lobster tail for my best friend. For Nora, I'm going to handle this right now. Mm. Mm hmm Oh, another thing that was um a trip was They give you this butter, or they, you know, they give their custom. They get offer you this butter. It's not real butter. It's not margarine. It's like an imitation butter. When I seen it. It was sitting out on a cabinet on a shelf in the middle of the restaurant. I'm like, this must be a mustard sauce or something. It looked like to me, it looked like imitation butter or something. It looked like a yellow jelly. And so one lady came in to get her food and she said, oh, and can you give me extra butter because y'all be skimpy on the butter, all right? And um, when the lady asked that, the lady gave her this product, this yellow jelly product. Mm -hmm. That's not butter. So after she gave her her stuff, I went up to the counter and I pointed at what I see in the middle of the store and I say, uh, what is that? She said, butter. I said, that's not real butter. You know. She said, no, it's a, she caught, she didn't say imitation. What word did she use? She didn't say imitation. She said um, substitute. Or um, what word did she use? And I could tell she didn't want to say it. Kind of put her on blast, but that wasn't my intention. I just was pointing out the fact that the people in the store is asking for real butter or for more butter. And this is what they give them. So it was some type of substitute. She used another word for it. 
I guess that made it sound more, uh, um, less bad because she didn't say imitation or fake or, or whatever. But it was this jelly stuff that supposed to be in butter. But off top, so I knew it wasn't butter. So when I got my food, she was like, you want butter? I said, y'all got real butter? If y'all got real butter, I want some real butter. And that ain't real butter. It ain't coagulating. It just, it's just a jelly. Real butter, you melt it, it turns into a, 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 a liquid. After it sits for a while, it turns back into a solid. And start thickening up. This butter was just a jelly. You know, I'm cool. But I ain't from around here. You can tell from the way I talk, I ain't from around here. Where's in the grocery store? Because I don't know if my best friend had butter. Real butter or not, which actually she do. But I didn't want to take the chance of getting all the way here and not having no butter. So I went to Dollar General, got me a box of butter. And I was like, dang, I should have bought a clove of garlic. I know you are. What time is it? Mm. Um, lost my train of thought. Heard something on the porch. Um, yeah, so I went to Dollar General and got me a box of butter. I melted my own butter. And because of so much seasoning on the outside of this crab, Instead of having to season up the butter, I'm just taking, wiping the extra seasoning off the, bow, off the outside of the crab and just dipping it, uh, putting it in the butter and mixing it in. And it's made my butter turn like this pinkish, reddish color. I don't even know if I'm getting dressed today. Y'all, I'm tired. I think I got jet lag. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I think I found it. Yeah, these are not juicy enough to suck. There ain't nothing in there. But you're supposed to suck it and it's supposed to be that flavor. But the crazy part about sucking the head, it hits you right in the back of your throat. It ain't no joke. You gotta be ready for it. Alright, let's see if I can pull this out. I pull it out without taking it all apart. Take that back piece off with the vein all in one wipe. Bow. We got one person in here watching. Hi, whoever you are. I appreciate you. I want to do one. I said many because I'm just chilling. But I want to do a mukbang with my sister. I might do a big one with my best friend since I'm out here. Since I can go get it already cooked and ready to go. Um, that's nothing. Y'all be careful when you're dealing with this spicy stuff. You don't want this in your eye. Mm -mm, no, child, you don't. Um, this one ain't gonna come out. This one ain't gonna come out. Right, let me see. Come on, give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. That's the part that comes out. You see the piece of stayed in there? 
take all of that out. You don't do none of that. No, child, not I, not she, not me, not me, not we. Mm-mm, I can't. I just can't. I won't. All right. I'm going to do another little piece of this lobster. I'm trying to save it for my best friend so she can taste fried lobster. I don't know if she tasted it before. It's a whole half. <clears throat> mm. Boy, that stuff don't hit you in your throat. I'm finish this. I got one, two more clusters. The half a lobster tail. Look at all that seasoning on there. I'm just putting that in my butter. God, baby, should be coming home soon. I don't know if it's just me, but do everybody else out of there eat their whole cluster? They do they uh they claw last. Don't it feel uncomfortable to do your claw before you do everything else? Is that weird? To the one person that's here, yeah, you think that's weird? All that sauce in there, but mm -hmm. no, it ain't gonna give it to me. Gotta use my claw teeth. Stacy said, don't waste no meat. Don't waste no meat. <laughs> mm, funny. I'm ready to go lay back down. They're going to come home and be like, hey, let's go. And I'm being there asleep. I'm telling you, I think I got jet lag. I thought you only get jet lag for long, long flights. See, the claw turns into a tool. You take one piece off the claw, and now you got a tool. If you don't have no tools, the claw turns into a tool. And you keep the claw piece. Give me all my meat now. Stacy said we don't waste no meat. Woo, my lips burning, y'all. Anybody watching? Nobody watching. Whoever. I'm talking to Jesus. We chilling. My lips burning. Oh my god, baby, eat. eat. I know it ain't five o'clock. It ain't five, it can't be five o'clock.
discount was three fifty five. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Oh, that's burning. I'm gonna have to take that trash out. I'm gonna put these crab shells in that garbage. Should have did a bag. It's too late now. Mm, get that out there too. Got that out. Get a piece of meat. Mmm. Mmm. Putting in some butter. See, my butter starting to thick up. I'm going to have to warm it up again. Mmm. All this sauce on here. Let's see. Well. And it's like a garlic old bay. Flavor and it's a lot of it. Ah yeah. the uh, seafood spot the restaurant there's a dude selling seafood off a truck boy I tell you if um, I can find him on my way home before I go home give me some dry ice baby it's gonna be on and cracking. I think my god baby get home at 4 30. It's almost four. Me and him probably bounce out. So I'm gonna finish this cluster because I'm definitely getting full. It don't take a lot to get me full. Hmm. So man, I'm messing with this knuckle right now. You know, we got all the little compartments hiding your meat. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm here. to that right there that was hiding. That in half. Pull that out. 
on the bottom. That's fine. Mm. That is amazing. Yep. <clears throat> amazing. That spice really kicked up my butter. Mm -hmm. A little section that sits right there. This on last little cloth. I bend it back, pop, and then the left and right pop pop. Then I pull, pull that out, and then I pop it. Hopefully, it does that. And then I just suck it out like that. Mm hmm. Yep. So. Let me get another coffee. Hi. Twist. Pull. See all of that? That helps you take that back piece off. I use that to take my back, that vein out. Twist off the back piece. And then I'm going to try to pull my meat out without having to actually peel it. A lot of people peel their crawfish. Like there's, yeah, I'm messing up right now. There's a, um, I'm just gonna pull it out. There we go. <clears throat> there's a, um, and see how that's a complete piece? When you take that back piece, it just peels right off. And when it peels off, it takes off any vein or anything about it there. A little dab of butter. Dab. Look at my dab. Like that. Let's do one more though. Now I'm just to go. I'm getting a shower. Maybe take my guy baby somewhere. We might go do something. I don't know. I'm sure he shouldn't have homework on the first day of school. Twist off the tail. Oh, that vein came out in that piece. That was good. Trying to pull it out. Uh-uh. vein came out already. Let's push it through. That piece off because there wasn't no vein in there. I yet took the vein out. Here's the meat. I don't want to eat all of these because I don't know if they had no crawfish in a minute. I'm going to have one more. One more mud bug. That's another name for it. One more mud bug. The bottom dwellers. Tell um maybe the way I eat it is like a California way of eating it, I don't know. To me it just seems simpler, but when you go to the festivals they got literal boards with instructions on how to do this here. Whew. Okay. So this is it, y'all. Anybody that uh, take the time to enjoy to watch this video, I truly appreciate it. I do um, little live videos when I feel like posting something and I don't want to have to worry about editing it, editing it. And when I think it's something that maybe one person might be interested in checking out. No big deal. I, my channel is so not, you know, nothing popping major. But the few people I do have on my channel that are subbies of mine, I appreciate them. So, I've, I have had, I've subbed to people on YouTube and 
and they have um they don't ever make video. So I'm like, I'm like, why am I subscribed to you? And you don't never post a video. <clears throat> so <clears throat> one person watched my videos, my lives, or my regular videos. I'm happy because they took the time out to subscribe to me. So again, if one person watched this video, thank you. I appreciate you. I truly do. And I will see you guys soon. I'm going to do another makeup video soon. This ain't meat, is it? No, that's the battle. I'm going to do another video soon. Another, um... Makeup tutorial or something, chit chat with me, get ready with me, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do one of them real soon. Probably more than likely when I get back home, I'll do it. Dang it, I should have put this stuff in a plastic bag. I did that so backwards. I should have put this in a plastic bag. I'm going to have to change their whole garbage because you cannot have this stuff in your garbage can. In your house. Not for a millimeter. So, um, yeah, again, thank you. For anybody that take their time out to watch this video, I appreciate you. Have a blessed day. Be happy. Love yourself. Give some of that away. Help somebody else be happy and love themselves. And as always, do your best to be your best. That's all God really requires. It's for you to try to be the best person you could be. With that being said, stay blessed. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye. I'm so full. I didn't think I was full at first. Yes, I'm sure I want.